Hello to you all, my name is Marlies, welcome to my channel and today we are going to decorate the Tim Holtz divided drawer. In front of me is the drawer without the dividers, I took them out so I have a better access to all areas because I want to collage the drawer and the dividers with the new backdrops volume 4. At this moment I already have cut my papers into the right size, I already roughened up the edges with my paper distressor and inked with a brownish ink. For gluing down the papers I am using the Distress Collage Medium from Tim Holtz and a brush. Just a little reminder that when you put the paper onto the glue, give it a good and firm rub and get all air bubbles out. Then repeat these steps on all strips of paper for the in and outside of the drawer. Because the papers are quite neutral, I would like to decorate them with a stamp, distress embossing ink and some embossing glaze powders. The stamp set that I'm using is from Tim Holtz and it is called Distress Damask. The three glazes that I'm using are picked raspberry, antique linen and walnut stain. I really liked working with the glazes in this phase of the project because I am using repeating steps and I'm doing it over and over again. For me it is really relaxing. I am starting off with a stamp and the embossing ink pad and just choose a spot where you would like to create the embossing glaze. And what I'm doing is I'm just picking up little pieces of glaze and sprinkle it on in multiple colors. To spread the powder nicely over the inked area, I am tapping on the side of the divided drawer. And the last step not to forget is to heat set the powders with your heat gun. And now I am going to repeat these steps on both long sides of the divided drawer. Let's go on to the next step. I thought the contrast with the backdrop paper and the embossed areas uh, was a little bit too big. I want them closer together. So I got out some water pencils, the Tim Holtz watercolor pencils. And I just scribbled something on a plastic sheet, added some water and then I pushed the plastic sheet onto the box. You can build up layers by repeating these steps and making some darker spots or layered spots and you can also do this with different kinds of colors. For this technique I chose two colors, the watercolor pencil Kitsch Flamingo and the watercolor pencil Vintage Photo. The effect that I'm looking for is to blend it in into the background, just some staining that there is something there, some movement, but not very obvious. The next step is to age some Tim Holtz foundations and label frames. 
I would like them to be more matching with the divided drawer and that is the reason why I choose pink and that is the first layer that is going on pink paint. There is absolutely no need to do this in a perfect manner, so just put it on with a brush a little bit randomly. Because I'm going for an aged look on these pieces, I'm going to use some steel wool and rub off some of the paint. You can repeat the whole process of painting, letting it dry and rubbing it off with steel wool as many times as you like, until you have the effect that you desire. This aging process is all about layers, so I'm going to add a new layer on top of the pink that we did before, and I'm using the Distress Paint Vintage Photo. I am applying it in the same way, just with a brush and just randomly spots here and there. The next layer I'm creating with the alcohol ink mushroom, I'm just going to let some drops fall down onto the pieces and wipe it off with a cloth. Just start gentle with one drop and when you like the effect add some more. After the foundations and the label frames are dry and to your liking, it is time to glue them down and I'm going to use some heavy gel medium to do so. I am firmly pushing these foundations onto the divided drawer so you will have some excess glue running uh, underneath, but just wipe it off or use a skewer for the little parts. I am moving on to the inside of the drawer, I'm going to um, decorate the bottom and I chose this beautiful patterned paper out of the new Backdrops pack volume 5. Again I'm going to use the Distress Collage medium to glue them down, just give the bottom a nice even layer of the glue and press your papers right into it and make sure to rub out all air bubbles by just rubbing on the paper to the sides.
now I'm going to decorate the edges of the divided drawer and the design tape from Tim Holtz is very perfect to do so because it has immediately the right measurement. To make sure it has a firm hold onto the wood, I put down a little layer of collage medium underneath. The quite large white clear area in the middle of the long side of the box caught my eye because I want something to be there. So I am using the Archival Ink Vintage Photo and the Ledger Script uh, stamp set from Tim Holtz to fill up those gaps. Uh, in the middle there will be the label frame with one of the new quotes. And I'm going to measure it out with a ruler because I want it to be straight in the middle. I could imagine that this divider drawer would look cute on a desk or something like that, but then I would not want it to be open, not all three sections, so I'm going to cover up the left section and the right section. I have cut out two pieces of cardboard as a lid and I'm going to decorate it with one of the backdrop papers. Not only do we have to think about the outside, how it appears, but also the inside of the lids. And I am going to decorate those edges with some design tape. In the middle of these squares there will be a smaller piece of cardboard that will have the function as an inlay for the lids. But how to attach those lids to the drawer? Well, I found some pink fabric and uh, on top of that there will be a piece of linen tape from the Tim Holtz ideology line. And later on you will also see me adding a piece of lace so it will have a layered effect. And those pieces will be like a hinge for the lids. To make the divider drawer and both of the lids mixing and matching, I am going to repeat the same steps with the embossing powder on top of the lids. Besides repeating the embossing glazes on top of the lids, I'm also going to repeat the stamping and of course the watercolor pencils.
when I looked at those foundations, I thought they were a little bit too dark and a little bit too pink to my liking. So I'm adding another layer, some kind of light beige color. And you can rub it off when it's still wet with a cloth or let it dry and rub it off with some steel wool. Last thing is to add the hinges to the divider drawer and to the lids. And what I did not cut on camera is the last step that uh, I added a little bow on top of the hinge, a green bow with the velvet trim. I hope you enjoyed my video. When you did, please like, subscribe or comment down below. You can also support my work by becoming a Patreon of mine or visit my little coffee shop where I offer some freebies and some digital kits. Thank you and have a great day!